everybody, it's Dawn. And today I have a 10 by 20 canvas. I have one tray from a fruit tray that I pulled from the recycle bin. And today I'm going to do a ribbon pour, but not a regular ribbon pour. I'm going to call this the shuffle pour. So anyway, I'm going to build a paint cup in here. But first I want to put a layer of white down on my canvas. So I'm going to take a minute to do that. And I'm going to speed this up. got our base down and now I'm going to build my paint cup in here and it would have been nice to put it down here and I just realized I can't do that but that's all right we will build the colors over here I don't know if you can hear but my cat is at the door to the studio making a fuss because I made him stay out but sometimes if I let him in he likes to sit under my table and bite my feet because he wants to play, so he has to stay out. The colors I'm using today are all cool colors that I hope will complement one another, and if they blend together a little bit, well, they'll look okay. Oh my gosh, the cat sounds so mournful over there. I will have to introduce him to you sometime. I realized I just went back to purple and I haven't used the red yet, so we'll do that now. While the cat cries disapprovingly outside. I wanted to do a, a ribbon pour that had a wide opening, but not as wide as my little dustpan but wider than a cup, so. And this little container will hold quite a bit of paint. So hopefully I won't run out before I get to the end, as I have done before when I've used my dustpan, because the dustpan is not very deep. So I'm just pouring the paint, layering it, Nothing special about that technique. I'm looking at how much paint is in my container here, and it's probably enough, so I guess I'll have to, have to paint something else to use up all my paint. Okay, so I told you this was going to be a ribbon pour, but it's also going to be a shuffle pour. And basically, I'm going to hold the container like this, Instead of just one long glide or a wavy glide, I'm going to shuffle it like that and see what kind of result we get. Hopefully it'll turn out nice, but you know me, I like to experiment and not everything turns out the way I hope it will. So I'm just going to hop right in here and start pouring. It's more of a splash than a shuffle, isn't it? <laughs> then we'll just pour it like a ribbon either side of that. I got enough to go again. And again. So, got some interesting designs here. I think I'll take the torch to it and then maybe we'll tilt a little bit. There we go. Oh, the white that's mixed with the colors is popping into little cells. And that's just from the flow chalk because there is no silicone in any of this. But sometimes it's cool when you do these kinds of pores and you get a few cells anyway. My, that's a lot of pink over here. I'm just gonna 
drizzle a little over top just to break it up. It's not that I hate pink. It's just it's a lot of pink. Okay. Now, which way to tilt it? You go this way like that. These will turn into lines. And if we go this way, we'll end up with some curves. So maybe we'll, we'll go back and forth. See what we end up with. <laughs> it's stretching the pink out, and I'm like, I don't want that pink. But that's all right. When you don't like it, you can always just run it off the side like I'm doing right now. back again. Maybe we'll send, stretch the redder end just a little bit. Or if we don't, it keeps these lines pretty much vertical. Well, it's interesting because we ended up with lines like you would with a ring pour from doing a ribbon pour. I'll be right back with a close-up. Okay, let's get our close-up in. So down here, we have tons of little cells that opened up when I torched and then they stretched a little when I tilted. But I do like the blend of colors. Again, they were all cool colors, so they they really should have blended together nicely. And I like the fact that most of the painting shows these vertical lines this way. But I think I'm going to hang it horizontally, and I'll get a picture of that for you in just a moment. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I really appreciate that you spent some time with me and my art. Before you go, don't forget to hit like and subscribe, and maybe check out some of my other videos. Thanks again for watching. You have a great day. See you next time. Bye for now.